Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds again here at Gospel Missions and Abode for Children. You know, as we start the new year, we start with these resolutions. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Are we really? You know, we, we start with these big plans. We're going to lose weight. Okay, let's do this. We're going to pray more. We're going to, whatever it might be, be nicer. It's hard. It's hard. You know, but if you don't have resolutions and you don't have goals and you don't have plans, then yeah, you'll never accomplish anything. You know, praise God, over the past year and a half, I've had a bad foot and I was walking a lot. Prior to that, I had lost 90 pounds and I was feeling great. And then my foot, so I stopped walking, but I still ate when I like to eat. And I gained a lot of it back, as you can tell. If you go back and look at some of the videos when I first started these, I was much smaller than I am. But through the grace of God, my foot is getting better. Um, I'm actually starting to walk again. I started with 15 minutes in the morning and then 15 minutes at night, and then I'm going to increase that each day. But I have a goal. I, I, have, I want to get back to walking. I like walking because I pray. Um, I also make phone calls while I'm walking and talk to wonderful people. But it really comes down to that time of prayer and reflection, that time of quiet sometimes when you're walking and you can just be there with God. Now, I used to walk outside in the mornings when it was dark and almost got hit a couple times, so we don't have sidewalks here. So now I get on the treadmill. I did this morning. I got on for 15 minutes. That was after my coffee with Jesus. That was after I prayed a rosary for my daughter. But ultimately, what are we doing to accomplish our goals or, or our resolutions? You know, one resolution you could make this year is, hey, any gifts we're going to give, little commercial, this year are going to be faith-based. Why not? And then why not shop at Gospel Missions, Amazing Grace Gifts and Books. We are online and you can go to our store in Evans City. But it'll help us with our dual mission of evangelization and taking care of the children in India. You know, we have over 500 kids that we educate in India right now. It's amazing. It's amazing. We have 115 or 114 in our, our orphanages. And we're looking at finishing this girl's junior college to give these girls an opportunity to go on to a little bit higher education to hopefully change their course in life. Where they're not, you know, given off into marriage for money or, or put into the fields to work or just, you know, being servants. Let's give these girls an opportunity. Prayerfully consider making a donation to the Girls Junior College. Prayerfully consider going on to Facebook. Um, we have Amazing Grace Books and Gifts site. We also have Gospel Mission site. And we have the Abode for Children page. If you can go on there and just like the pages and follow it. And as we post things, share them with your friends and family. We offer free shipping now on our online site, so it's it's not a cost for shipping. But it allows us to continue that dual mission of evangelization and, and taking care of the little ones. Remember, Jesus said, bring the little ones unto me. Do not keep them back. And that's what we're trying to do over in India. So join us. Join us in this task of spreading the message of our Lord and our Lady and all the beautiful saints we have within our church that have died in a lot of cases for our faith. Join us, not only in shopping, but join us tomorrow night for Our Lady's Power Hour. It's on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. You can go onto our website, go to About Us, go down to Our Lady's Power Hour, and you can sign up for it. Don't forget one thing, though. Ultimately, one thing you need to remember is that Jesus loves you. Have a great week.